Alright, what's up guys? It's Katie. Um, it's Sunday and sorry I look really tired. I was taking a nap. Um, but anyway, Max just put up the theme and I like it. Um, been liking to do uh, a lot of themes like this that have to deal with like childhood and like things going on in your life that re relate to like LGBT issues and things like that. So um, I appreciate the theme, Mac. Uh, anyway, so the theme is to talk about how you deal with discrimination, um, whether it be as a kid being bullied, um, or about uh, <laughs> being told you're in the wrong bathroom as an adult. Um, so uh, anyway, as a kid, um, I've always kind of been standing out of the crowd a bit. Um, I had long ponytail when I was a kid, um, but I wore all boys clothing until I was in like seventh grade maybe um I just didn't like girls stuff I hated it actually when I was like a really little kid my mom used to put me in dresses and stuff for Easter and I would just like run and hide somewhere and take it all off um I just hated it um so I not that I didn't care, I just was like not that concerned about what other people thought as much as I was a kid because it wasn't like something I had really encountered that much in society I guess. Um, kids get bullied all the time and like or teased or something and not that it's a good thing but it was more just like it happened a lot so I didn't notice it as much I guess I just kind of assumed that's how things were. Um, I didn't really like hang out with the girls that much. Because I didn't like playing dolls and things or whatever not that that's what girls have to do but that's what all the girls that I knew did um, there weren't any girls on my street I grew up with like all boys um, we played kickball and football all the time and I could tackle just as well as they could if not better <laughs> um, maybe that's why I play rugby now <laughs> but um yeah I just like I just brush it off and like the guys were kind of fine with it because I played with them and like nobody really gave a shit um, in fifth grade though, I cut all of my hair off like this short and um, I went in the bathroom, I just remember this one time, I went in the bathroom at Hershey Park on our fifth grade field trip because I was a safety patrol and we got to go on the field trip and um, my dad was one of the chaperones and he was waiting for me like outside. I went in and there was a bunch of like, I was like 10 at the time, and there was a bunch of like 14 year old girls in there. like reapplying their lip gloss or something I don't know and they were like yo get out of here you're in the wrong bathroom and I never like had that before like never had that happen to me before so I like started crying and like ran out of the bathroom and ran as well my dad and my dad got really pissed but like there's not really anything he could do so he was just trying to like comfort me and kind of from then on I started I guess trying to fit the part more um just to kind of diminish those feelings because that sucks and um I mean I think most of the kids on the channel can probably relate a little bit at least but um there's also um it just it's something that happens all the time and I've encountered that problem so much more as I'm getting older um and it just really is annoying um especially in the bathroom for some reason that is like one place that I don't want to be uncomfortable is in a public restroom or whatever so I try to avoid it or I go in with someone else or I don't know just run in and run out and ignore what people say um or I just kind of get defensive and just be like no I'm in the right bathroom like don't tell me I'm in the wrong bathroom because I would clearly notice if I opened the door and was like oh this is the girls room and I'm not supposed to be in here then I would turn around and leave I would not just proceed to like go about my business people are kind of ignorant um, and I understand if they're uncomfortable, fine, but like, just like use some common sense and think for a second before you open your mouth, is how I feel, but whatever. That's life. Um, sometimes I get frustrated and I want to just like pull my shirt up and be like, yeah, I got titties or whatever, but you know, that doesn't solve anybody's problems. Um, it's just being spiteful. But, um, yeah, I don't know, it's not like, I can't say that there's like an easy way to deal with discrimination, it's more just like... I get like a shell, an outward, outward shell, like up to like deflect that. But that's kind of how it is. Um, hopefully that gets better with life. We'll see. 
Um, and anyway, there was... The challenge was to film this in a place that is special to you and tell us why. Um, I just got the theme, like, a couple minutes ago, so, like, I didn't get a chance to go and film this anywhere or do anything. But, um, if I could, I would probably film this on my back deck at my parents' house. Um, we moved to that house when I was 13, and I spent years on that back deck, and, like, every summer and stuff, I used to sit out there and read all the time. Um you know, suntan, whatever, just chill outside. We would eat dinner there um, as a family when my mom and dad and everybody got home from work. Um, as I got older, I would, like, usually deal with relationship or emotional phone calls on that back porch. Um, or, if it wasn't on my back porch, I would probably film this at the beach. That would actually be the ideal place. Um, it's been three years now, but I still equate the beach with my uncle who passed away. Um, it was his favorite place. We went there every summer um, as an entire family, a big group of people. Like 17 of us all went and rented this giant beach house and all cooked dinner together and spent like just the entire week just relaxing and being with each other and playing games and just enjoying each other's company. And um, that's a place that would be like really special to me. Um, so. Hopefully my family can start going to the beach again soon, um, but no promises, I guess. So anyway, those are the places I'd probably pick if I could. Um, currently, I'm sitting in my living room in my apartment, which is actually kind of a cool place. Um, I spend a lot of time here with friends. Um, if I ever have people come over and visit, this is usually where we hang out and chill. Um, I share it with room my two roommates who are really awesome, and I'm really glad that I lived with them this year. Um, we had a really good time. Um, and I actually got to leave in like a couple weeks, which sucks, but anyway, moving on to other things. So yeah, um, I guess I'll try to wrap it up. Sorry, this guy's this got a little long, but, um, just try to cover everything. Again, thanks Mac for the, um, for the theme. It was really good. I like it. And I'm interested to hear how other people deal with some discrimination. And, um, for anybody watching, if you ever encounter these issues and you have, um, anything you want to talk to, I'm sure anyone on the channel will be more than happy to talk to you about any issues you're dealing with. So, please don't hesitate to contact us, and, um, hope you all have an awesome Sunday and a great week. Take care, guys.